The weird thing is, I walk into the shop the other day, I walk into a shop, and they sell trophies. Has anyone ever been to a trophy shop? Have you been to one? Have you been there? Okay, so there's these shops, they're not many, but I walked into one by mistake, because I was just happened to be randomly hanging out in Glen Eden. I walk in there, and there's trophies for Africa everywhere. I'm like, oh my God, like all sorts of trophies. And I'm like, and I go to the guy, how much does this trophy cost? He goes, five dollars. <laughs> what? Five dollars? And he goes, yeah, five dollars. And I go, how much does it cost to engrave it? And he goes, it's just two dollars. <laughs> so you're telling me that trophy up there, I could buy for five dollars and engrave whatever I want on it. <laughs> for two dollars, seven dollars. And he goes, yeah. And then my friends, I've got friends that have got children, right? Get this. They send their children to Saturday sports, right? And they pay these horrendous submissions, like $250 or $400, something ridiculous a year, right? They buy them outfits, costumes, whatever the hell they wear, right? On the rugby field and make them do, and they have to do ridiculous things out in society. And then these parents have to wake up at like seven o'clock in the morning, take their children to some stupid sports field in some other part of the like city and go there and watch them in rain, hail or shine just so their child can win a stupid trophy. Like player of the day. I'm like, oh my God, why don't you not pay $300, right? Go to this ridiculous trophy shop. Buy your son a trophy every week. Player of the day, it'll cost you less than the submissions. You get your Saturday mornings to yourself. But while you're at it, buy yourself a bloody world's greatest dad cup.